Hi guys, this is Rashid and you are watching Step by Step Robotics. So today I would like to introduce you guys a new custom board that we are developing. This is a J Moab, which is a development shield that can sit on the Sandano, Salvia NX or even Raspberry Pi. So this is an I.O. interface and motor control board. So it has an original idea from the original Moab with the autopilot computer. But we are trying to merge everything into a one single computer. So the space will be much more compact and everything is in your palm like this. And I'm also making the ROS package that we can control the UGV directly from the Jetson with the J Moab. So let's get started. JMOAP is a shield which is plugged on for the pins header on just a Nano, NX or Pi. So just plug it there before power it on. There are three PWM server output and one SBUD input. So we can send PWM value by using I2C bus from the master device like just a Nano and other features like AT card interface, UART for GPS, IMU relays, barometer and temperature sensors. It has most of what you need for autonomous robot project and with just a Nano or an X, you could easily make a robot with AI application. This is an ESC for AT card view system, two cables for both motors, one for battery and one for control cable. So JMOAP has an interface which you can easily control the AT card wheel in both manual and auto mode. So we just plug the control cable to the ESC port on JMOAP. It can handle 4-wheel drive if you have 2 ESC. Then you would need to have RC receiver which has SBUS compatible like Futaba. So we just plug the SBUS from receiver to SBUS input on the JMO app. So finally, you would have something like this for the control device. There would be just a nano. JMOAP, RC receiver, Wi Fi router, and DC DC leg reader to step down the battery to proper 5 volt. Here is the candidate UGV for today, which I'm gonna use for a demonstration. It's 4 wheel drive AT card system, it has YD LiDAR for navigation and object avoidance. On top here, there are PTC camera for surveying and flow camera to measure object temperature. The robot footprint is 50cm width, 70cm long, and 115cm height. I'm using 6 cell LiPo battery for main power and a controller box as I just showed to you before. After plug on the battery, then we can turn on the RC transmitter. So channel 5 on the left here is mode changing switch. We have whole, manual and auto. So here in manual mode, we can drive the robot by pushing throttle on channel 2 and steering on channel 1. One of the reasons you would like to try this AT car system is its brushless hub motor which has a brake and also it can handle human weight easily which is quite suitable for real world medium sized robot application. And here we are, this is a ROS package for JMOAB which right now it can handle AT card wheel system to allow you to make autonomous robot in ROS. You can follow along the installation step here. It uses SMBus2 Python module for I2C communication and it's a very simple module. You can use both two wheels or four wheels depends on how you like to do. The model is the same. So once you install and build your Catkin workspace, you can try to run ROS run JMOAB ROS, JMOAB ROS AT card. And you can try check on this example for more information. For another features, it's in development process. So here one of the terminal on Jetson, I'm gonna let ROS call running. And if we do ROS topic list, you will see there is no topic for now. 
so we can try run JMOAP Ross node to publish SBUS channel of transmitter and subscribing on SBUS command value. So Ross topic list will show these two new topics. Then we can try echo SBUS RC SH. So we will see the all of 16 SBUS channels printing and it's changing when we move the sticks or switches. Next, let's try to publish the SBUS steering and throttle command values to control the robot from autopilot code. Here in the example file, it will publish steering and throttle in array topics. So we can try to use this default at first and see how the robot move. So I will let it echo as bus CMD so we could see it change or not. Right now there is nothing in this topic. So I'm going to run the script and let's see. So here the script is running and we can see the data is coming on this topic. But the robot won't move until we change the mode to auto mode. So from our transmitter, we can switch to auto mode, then robots start to move. We can try change to another value like this, backward throttle. So once we switch to auto mode, we can see it move backwards slowly. Okay, now so it's time to do the real demonstration. So I log into the bot and let's lost call running there. And the second node is the laser scanner from YD LiDAR TT30. And the third one is the JMOAP ROS, JMOAP ROS AT card. Then I go to script directory in my Catkin workspace. And I'm gonna run my pig farm simple avoidance for robot navigation and one for the laser line detector. Now all the nodes are running, but the robot is still in manual control. So you will see I can still drive the robot manually. So to make things more clearer, I'm gonna open up Arvis to visualize what would happen. On the Arvis, you will see a laser scan the entire room as red dot, and it scanned the front as green and the back as white dots. So on the image box here, I put the laser scan point into the white blank image and using OpenCV to find a possible line around it. So this laser line detector will give me a message that the robot already found kind of wall or an end way. And you will see the blue line on that image box. For example, I'm going to echo the end way message so you will see what the robot will get once he found out the end way in front and back. Then I'm gonna switch to auto mode and let the bot run by itself. So the robot footprint is the blue polygon and there are stop zone which is red polygon with an X and a void zone is yellow polygon in the front and back as well. So once the bot found an end way and close to stop zone, he will go back to the other direction. And if there is something in stop zone, it will stop immediately. So if object is in avoid zone, it will steer itself to the other side to avoid hitting on that. So now, if it found an end way at the back, then it will go forward again. So this is a very simple avoidance algorithm with should work in a simple environment like go straight, go back, and stop.
And of course, if there is something happens, you can quickly take control of the bot by switch to manual or whole modes. And because we can subscribe on SBUS RC channel topic, so I can assign some switch to do some fancy function like reset to forward direction again. And that is for today's videos. I hope you guys like it. So if you would like to know more detail about the AT card view system or the JMO app, you can send me an email to rashid.kit at attractlab.com or my GitHub repo, Rashido, or stepbystep-robotics.com. I believe this will upgrade your robot project into the next level. So if you like this kind of video, please press like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you soon.